Obviously, Harry Kane put the penalty away. Loads has been said this tournament about whether he's fully fit about his sharpeners. I had to sort of double check and triple check this stat when I read it because it sounded incredible that his ninth goal in knockout stages of major tournaments more than any other European player in history. When you read that you go, that is staggering. Just how important is he to England, but even when he's not fully fit, of course he's important. I mean, I've sat with Wayne Rooney four weeks ago, a week so before the tournament started, and he said that Harry Kane, in his opinion, and I never thought of it like this, was the greatest England player ever. Now that is sort of massive praise from someone who's been around the block with England, Wayne Rooney, and I wouldn't disagree. I wouldn't fight to disagree with him either. I think Harry Kane's been absolutely sensational. His record, you know, I always called him when he was at top, and he's like gold. You just know full well that he's going to deliver for you. He's solid character. I think he is obviously below his best in this tournament. It does look like he's carrying something, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if it emerged in a week or two that he's had issues during this tournament with something that he's been sort of, you know, trying to bandage up. But you look at that record now, and you think about who he's up there with some of the sort of great strikers and goal scorers of all time are on that list. And obviously, Kylian Mbappé is seen as being the best player in the world right now. So look, Harry Kane is someone that ultimately, at this moment in time, he won't be dropped by Gareth Southgate. I know there is a sort of consensus that people think that we'd be better without him, but it wouldn't send a great message, I don't think, to the squad internally. I think he's very clearly their leader. I think Gareth Southgate has full and total faith in him. And I also think if you're the opposition team, he is still England's sort of man. He's the man who's gone over to Germany this year and sort of ripped it up from a goal-scoring perspective. So I think if the Spanish team on Sunday are a fantastic team, are looking at our team sheet, I think they'll be thinking that Harry Kane is going to start and obviously we've seen last night and in previous games what Ivan Toni and what Oli Watkins did last night, that we've got brilliant players to come off the bench and be able to disrupt what might be a game that's not going well for England.